hello everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're going to be talking about a situation that i think is very important for us latinos to talk about i actually did a spanish version about this topic but i want to come here and talk about it in english because i feel that it's important for me to inform my audience about it so we're gonna be discussing about the hatred and racism that the new miss dominican republic has been getting lately and let's keep it honest she's only getting this hatred because she is a black latina She's an Afro-Latina, so let's get into this video. La próxima. Miss República Dominicana Universo 2019. La ganadora es... Punta Cana! So y'all saw that little cute clip and y'all saw how Miss Punta Cana won Miss DR Universe. So she's going to be representing the beautiful country that is the Dominican Republic in the Miss Universe. So actually, before starting with the backlash of celebrities and uh, other people that were talking shit about this beautiful woman, I actually didn't want to show like comments or hate comments about people because like... There are many ignorant people online, no matter who is going to win, but I just want to show a few examples, just like two comments or three about what people are saying, and I'll be translating it for you guys. Okay, the first comment says, in a beauty contest, uh, we'll award some qualities, and between one of them, beauty is one of them. Let's be honest, this girl is horrible. She looks like a dead body that is anorexic a dead anorexic body okay and she doesn't represent anything the beautiful dominican woman that is known for her curves and exotic beauty okay what does exotic beauty means um okay i am not racist and i'll never be one but to the bread brain right to the wine wine there are many beautiful dark-skinned women intelligent and with pose one example of this is amara and she is even more darker than the girl that won so it's not a question of skin color the thing is that the thing is that the girl it's not to a standard and that's it everything is business blah 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 blah. we all know i think we don't we will not make it to the top 10. okay it's funny how she brings up amara it's like saying, I'm not racist because I think she's pretty. Like, you're calling this little girl an anorexic dead. Like, what does that even mean? Like, she's she's pretty. She's beautiful. Like, come on. Another comment says that she needs a rhinoplasty. Um, <laughs> we all know this beautiful girl doesn't need anything. But there's this thing in Latin America where Afro-Latinas and indigenous Latinos, we have broader noses and <laughs> some people are just reaching at this point the last comment says omg the pld and the oh no until a haitian is representing to our country i'm not racist but we should we shouldn't allow this to happen we should boycott her okay 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 let me tell you why i'm making this video especially and first of all let me address that last comment where she uh, there's a lot of speculation that she's haitian that she's not a real person from the dr and these comments are racist and y'all know if y'all didn't know the dr and haiti they are going through a lot especially racism since the dr since the DR decided that they're going to remove the Jewish soil, that means that bare right citizenship in the DR is not a thing anymore because they really want to take away the Haitian, the Haitians from the DR that were born there. So a lot of um, people that were born in the DR were stripped from their citizenship because none of their parents were DR residents and it's crazy it's crazy so there's a lot of racism so how they think they are more european they are more of european descent in the dr and it's crazy and why i'm passionate about this topic me not being black myself um i am latino but i am indigenous myself and the same thing that happens to afro latinas is the same thing that happens to indigenous latinas and latinos so how in latin america people view as black 
Latinos and indigenous Latinos because I'm the indigenous and they mock them. They 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 view them as ugly. They do brown face and black face. And besides making brown face and black face to Latinos and Afro Latinos, they do black face in religious festivals in Latin America. Because the blackface culture that came to America also came to Latin America from Spanish people. So I am passionate about this topic because the same thing that Afro-Latinos go through, indigenous Latinos go through. In my country, where I'm from, Bolivia, we don't have many Afro-Latinos. But the discrimination, the same thing that happens, this is not Bolivian beauty, yada, 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 happens to indigenous women because they're darker, we have broader noses. And yeah, I might be on the light skin of the spectrum when it comes to my race, but I will still be advocating for my people and the discrimination that happens very frequently in Latin America. Okay, now I'm going to start with the backlash that she's been getting from the media in the DR. Uh, the first one was a radio show called Al Foque TV Show. And a woman named Amelia Alcantara, basically she went off on her. She's ugly, she's this, she that. She doesn't represent our DR beauty. And then she claimed that if she would go, she will win against her for sure. Mm, I'll play a little snippet of the clip. Here we go. La presidenta está dañando la vaina. No, pero ¿Cuántos mira... años vamos a durar sin traer la corona? Por tener, por, por tener esa mujer ahí, haciendo lo que le da la gana. Bueno, haciendo ya, disparate, ya, haciendo desastre. Ya casi es mayor. ¿Tú sabes, la... las, ¿Tú sabes las mujeres bellas que hay aquí en este país? Preparada. Bueno, pero es posible que esta muchacha esté preparada la que ganó. Pero no es bella, no es bonita, se la va para parte, es la primera ronda, se la, se la van a lamber. ¿Estás segura? Pues segurísima. ¿Y si gana mañana, qué tú vas a decir? Es que no va a ganar, more. Es más, si gana, me retiro de la radio. Eh, ¡Ay! ¡Ay! Anota ay, la fecha. Ay, ¿A qué estamos ay, hoy? Ay, que gane, que gane. Ay, que gane. Ay, que gane. Okay, so I actually shot a little snippet of it because I'm doing this video in English and I'll be doing a video in Spanish also. So if you want to watch the full clip and my full breakdown in Spanish, just watch this one. If not, if you're Hispanic, you can check the video out for them and watch the f clownery that they've been doing. So basically, three men, all these three clowns were calling her ugly. Like, they were, they were bullying her. They were calling her more than ugly. They were dragging her, okay? And then this chick, she basically was claiming that she will basically win against her because she doesn't represent the art beauty. So I assume she believes that she truly represents the art beauty. Like, I don't understand what these people are saying. Like, all these ugly ass men, I'm sorry, all of them, all these ugly asses, and they be claiming that this poor little 18 year old girl is ugly when she's freaking gorgeous and they will not stand a chance to have a woman like her like y'all clowns at this point okay next who else decided to bully this beautiful woman um a name a man named manny solano i don't know if he's a comedian he is a journalist i've seen his profile and he's pretty not here for the for the haiti community in the dr but okay so i'll translate for you guys so he basically posted could me an ugly man that i'm dominican represent the chinese republic in the worldwide ugly mr ugly i assume how would chinese feel Okay, I'm sorry, but his broken Spanish, I, I'm trying my best. How would Chinese feel? Simply, they will be angry, I assume he says. Truth. Because this title is goes for an ugly Chinese, not a Dominican. I'll give you a homework with the situation with the Haitian beauty. Simply, simply she doesn't represent the beautiful Dominican woman. She's simply from Haiti. Okay, there is no proof that this woman is from Haiti. And she had to prove where she's from. Like, y'all y'all literally dragging this woman. That this is supposed to be like one of the best days or best times of her life. She's about to represent the entire DR. And she's getting all this backlash from these major media outlets. It's totally disgusting and so uncalled for. She also has had to prove that she's... From the DR, like, she has to prove that shit. Like, she didn't have to prove it to enter the contest. Like, y'all dumb at this point. And you know what's funny about this Manny Solano thing? That there's no proof that she's from Haiti. And the funny part is that sister 
is definitely Afro Latina. So it's just like, are you gonna be dragging this girl where somebody could be saying the same comments about your own sister? Come on, like do better. Like what's going on? Cuando yo era pequeña, a mí eh, me discriminaban por mi raza, por mi color de piel, por mi pelo, y de nuevo otra vez con mi República Dominicana después de que gané el título. Okay, for the ones that doesn't speak Spanish, she basically said that she's not surprised because always since she was young, she was picked on because of her race her hair, her skin tone, and now that she was elected again, it's happening again, so she's basically not shocked about it. Okay, y'all, so y'all think the hate train of Miss DR finished? Uh-uh, it didn't finish, not yet, not yet. So basically, Miss Panama decided to post a photo comparing herself to Miss DR, where she's extremely photoshopped, and, and she added with the caption, delicious. I wish one day I get to be like, uh, her name made her Eliezer, so she basically was saying that Miss DR was wishing one day to be like herself, okay? And after half an hour that everybody was dragging her ass, uh, she posted an apology to her, Insta, to her Insta stories, and she said, I wanna apologize for the bad understanding that happened when I uploaded a photo of at Roxy Star 507 to my story where Roxy has photoshopped her face until a photo I, I didn't know and then she made a comment that was saying oh Rika I wish I get to be like her without knowing that the photoshop of Roxy Star was on the photo of Miss DR at Cloud Claudi Dali, uh, who, whom I own an apology, who, uh, whom I own respect, and whom I already apologize on the bad misunderstanding. Also, publicly, I want to apologize to my brothers and sisters from the DR because of this misunderstanding. I know with my own flesh what is living in bullying and I'll never be capable of doing this to someone else. Who know me knows that I own them respect. Also to the people without thinking of race and social condition. Because this is what they taught me since I was young. At Claudi, Claudi Dali, 100 apologies. Everything was a misunderstanding. Okay, so the backlash was that she basically didn't know that another girl put her face on top of Miss um, DR photo. But I mean, okay, maybe it was an accident, maybe no. I'm gonna give her the side eye. Like, I'm sure, like, she kind of knew what was going on. But I swear to God, like, these misses, <laughs> they should mind their business. Like, you made it, you probably did what you had to do to get there, and y'all be shading other contestants like just mind your business this reminds me when last year miss america australia in colombia started mocking miss vietnam in cambodia because they couldn't speak any english like mind your business um what do you think about miss vietnam Nye? oh my god oh my god so oh my god, so she's fashion elegant oh my god yes, yes fashion, fashion. that's so the cute. word and she pretends to know so much english and then you ask her a question after having a whole conversation with her and she goes <laughs> She's adorable. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, on the sun, you. Um, Miss Cambodia is here and doesn't speak any English, and not a single other person speaks yeah. her language. Can you imagine? Like Francesca said that that would be so isolating, and I said yes. I mean, and just confusing all the time. You at least have other. I mean, you do speak great English, yeah. and you, have, you have other Spanish. Spanish and it's like yeah, it's like Spanish speakers. She Brazil is. doesn't speak English. But there are other but women that speak Portuguese. Yeah, but it's just been Portuguese, right? Yeah. It's it would really, be really hard. Really hard. Poor Cambodia. Okay, so after the comment, I am not sure whether or not she personally apologized to her. Um, but Miss DR obviously had to accept her apology because she's going to represent the country in Miss Universe. So she cannot be like 
she cannot she cannot defend herself okay so whatever comes her way she has to accept it and that's pretty sad that's one of the reasons why i'm making this video because it's obvious that this woman they're telling her to not speak up so she doesn't make headlines she doesn't want to look like the angry black woman and they're trying to paint her that way i swear to god they're trying to push her buttons Entiendo que pudo ser un inconveniente y yo acepté sus disculpas. So she basically accepted her apology. She said, I understand, it could have been a misunderstanding, so whatever, I accept her apology, right? So um, before ending this video, I want to call out one more media outlet that I, after reading this article, I'll translate most of it because it's in Spanish. It's just like... It's colorist and it's racist and it's discriminatory. The way they wrote it, it's nasty. So the headline says, Miss DR Universe wins social media with new photos. So the article is basically saying that after all the backlash that she's getting, she is basically gaining the love because of the new photos that she's uploading on Fashion Week. And why I'm calling this farandula out of colorist and racist is because they're basically saying that in new photos you can see her with different hair and with colors that are more adequate for her skin tone okay so basically then they put on photos where she has straight hair and she and her hair is pulled back so basically now that she doesn't have her afro or her more natural hair now she's winning social media with the new shocking look. I swear to God, like these people, they're straight up racist and they don't care. And I'm going to call this out because like I don't like how Latinos be calling out Afro Latinas hair. This reminds me when Spanish people came and us natives, um, we were forced to as men have the hair short we were not allowed to have our long native hair anymore so we were forced to and now it's even not allowed in many hispanic high schools to have long hair even though that completely goes against our native cultures and native traditions like it's totally nasty that's one of the reasons why i decided to have long hair because i'm trying to save this old tradition that was basically erased because of colonization and whitewashing of our culture also i am not saying that indigenous people in latin america is the same experiences that afro latinos suffer from latin america but i would say that i relate a lot with this type of topics because i am disgusted by all the racism in our culture the latino culture that's why i say always to everybody i am latino but i am indigenous first i will stick up for my people first and my afro latinos that go through discrimination in our continent is totally sad and i can totally can relate with these type of topics because of that also my oldest brother he's half african so watching this is it's very hurtful for me because I have family members, my nieces, his wife, that are my family now. And just watching this hatred towards dark skin and blackness and us native people is sad to me. And I'm going to speak up to these topics because I think these type of conversations are not, you know, they're not much talked about in our culture. We are deemed as like, we're mixed, we're, we're Hispanic, we're Latino, like... Who come, Who say I'm Latino? Like, is it in my blood? Nah. Y'all gave me that name. I'm indigenous. Y'all want to call me Latino? I'm Latino, but I'm going to stick up for my pe people at the end of the beginning. This reminds me of when Amara La Negra was trying to explain colorism and being Afro-Latina. And literally, they were shutting her down. Like, what is that even? My hair doesn't define me. Mm -hmm. My hair is just part of me. Look at me now. I'm still Amara La Negra. Mm -hmm. The hair that grows out of my hair is an Afro. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. So if I want to wear it a certain type of way, that shouldn't affect who I am as a person or my music. I obviously didn't articulate myself. When I say Afro, I didn't mean, that. like when she said, oh, my hair grows an Afro. It actually grows curly. Like, it's not an Afro. Is that the name of that, of hair that grows an like Afro? It's curly hair, right? <laughs> Isn't it just curly hair? Well, I'm not trying to... The more he talks, the more he digs himself. I just don't understand how a hair, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I said it the wrong way. And I apologize for it. It wasn't my intention. It wasn't and a genuine apology emotion, because even now, I can't after the show has been over and done, and you still didn't sit down to...
with Afro Latinos. Like, know, like, and not only that, but you have a website selling Afro Papi, Afro Mommy t-shirts. On top of that, you mocked me. I'm trying to rep the cause. You mocked me. <laughs> I ain't never heard of no Afro Latinos. Okay, well, okay. we all Afro Latino then now. Let's do the Afro Latino move. Okay. You're still okay. sitting here. I have I'm curly, not the only one that's going in, but like, what is this? Afro. Ain't nobody heard of that before. Because everybody's going crazy off, like, of, of skin complaint. Colorism, I ain't even, like, that's okay. to me. I don't Colorism see is no difference turning? between anybody. What are you saying? My dad's black and my mom's white. That's me. So you're super Spanish. You only speak Spanish. You don't hang out in the black community like that. You don't be in, like. Okay. It doesn't seem like you know the difference between race, nationality, and ethnicity. And you being Hispanic and you saying your dad is black and you're, I'm speaking to you and you saying that your mom is white. The thing is, pe black Color. people. They're both Spanish, no, but they're black and white. I, well, I'm the same way. My parents are both black and they're born in Cuba, but they're of African descent. African a Latino means that we're of African descent. Black African people weren't just dropped off in America. They were of dropped off. But if you want to go course, deeper than that, that goes really deep. That goes really deep. But don't say really deep. you don't know. Our ancestors are from Africa. Of no, course, but you everybody know, from Africa, if you want to go there, we don't even know what, what are you talking about? Wait, wait, the whole human race derives from Africa, if you want to go there. So this clip is very important because a lot of Latinos seem to be like we're all Spanish, we're all Latinos, we this, we that. At the end of the day, I am an indigenous native person, okay? I might be Latino and when I see discrimination against us, I'll I'll be like, yeah, like I'll be speaking up against that. But at the end of the day, I am an indigenous person, I am native, I was colonized, my people were killed, around 300 million people were stripped away from this continent we had a horrible genocide of my people so when i'm going to be talking about my people yeah i'll be speaking up on latinos too if i have to but generally when i talk about my people it's my native and indigenous people at the end of the day and a lot of people seem to categorize us as Latinos in the same way all the time. When it's like, Amara La Negra is a black woman. She's Latina, but she's black. And she goes through the black experience and she has her black heritage. Like, a lot of Latinos seem not to understand that. But I'm glad that Amara is talking about it and I'm talking about it. So that's all I gotta say about this situation. What do y'all think about this hate train against the Miss DR? Do y'all think it's just like because she isn't pretty enough? Do y'all think she's not qualified enough? Or do y'all think it's because she's black? Like, let's keep it real. Let me know down in the comments what's your opinion about the topic. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.